Hey guys, so uh, what's going on? It is wonderful Wednesday yet again, and as you can see, I do not have on a wig this week. Why not? Well, I feel like it's been so long since I've talked to you, but I am actually wearing a crochet hairstyle that I uh, installed a, maybe a week or so ago, and uh, I just didn't feel like taking it down uh, for this week. But I did want to talk to you guys about a couple of things that's been kind of weighing heavy on my heart. So I hope you take some time out to listen and uh, just enjoy what we're going to talk about today on Wigless Wednesday. Hey guys, so like I said, I am not wearing a wig this week. However, I still have an interesting topic for us to talk about today. So I hope that you will stay tuned and follow us throughout the whole video. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, please take a minute to do so. There is a little subscribe icon right there. Click on that, click the little bell notification right beside it. So every time I post a video on Wednesday, you'll get a notification in your email box to let you know when to check me out on Wednesday. So. I want to talk about relationships. You know, most of my channel, most of my Wigless Wednesdays are about relationships. And, um, you know, it can be romantic relationships. It can be, you know, friendships. Any Anytime that we relate to one another, it is a relationship. So it doesn't necessarily mean a romantic relationship. It could just mean, you know, friendship. But this time in particular, I want to talk about relating in terms of a romantic uh, aspect. So I was talking to a friend of mine. Hey, Margaret, how you doing? I, talk, I was talking to a friend of mine and she was saying, girl, you should talk about this when you get home uh, from your little outing tonight. And so I decided since my makeup was already done, go ahead and let's go ahead and have a little uh, little, little talk, a little tete a -tete, whatever you want to call it, uh, for tonight about uh, relationships. So it, what do you do when you're involved with someone but you don't want the same things from each other she wants one thing he wants another how are you able to really come to what you both want if you're not able to find a common ground with one another so I was thinking about my recent interactions with uh, someone of the opposite uh, sex I don't know if, what do you want to call him yeah, I don't want to mention him by name just because I don't. But I'll say this. I wanted something that he didn't want. And we couldn't reconcile those things to make our interactions work with one another. We couldn't come together to agree uh, as to how we're going to be involved with each other, how we're going to proceed and um, for the betterment of our friendship, for the betterment of our relationship. Uh, I was wanting to move somewhere where he was not willing to move. And so as a result, it stalled it, it got stuck and I am at a stage in my life where I do want something real I want something um genuine I want to bond with one person I'm not trying to date Tom Dick Harry uh Paul John William and everybody else I just want to settle down with this one person and unfortunately I haven't been able to find that as of yet but <laughs> hopefully Lord somebody will be coming along soon because it's, it's getting cold out Okay, anyway, so what do you do when you want something and you feel someone and they don't feel you the same way? They're not feeling what you're feeling. How do you, how do you, what do you do? What do you do when you want something that the other person doesn't want? Do you just give up? Do you move on? How do you, how do you make it work when you know you're not getting what it is that you want in a relationship? And like I said, just because we haven't said, hey, uh, we're boyfriend and girlfriend or we're married or whatever, engaged or whatever, if we are seeing each other with the intent of getting to know each other, with the intent of being friends or whatever, we have a relationship. So just because it's not technically claimed or technically called, you know, a boyfriend, girlfriend type of thing, it's still a relationship. So what do you do when you want one thing, but your partner doesn't want what you want? Do you stay? Do you hold on? Do you wait for, for the day that maybe they may say, oh, okay, yeah, I want this now. Or do you give up? It's hard to say. It's hard to say. Um, in my particular situation that I mentioned earlier, I had to give it up because at the end of the day, if a person is telling you what it is they want and they don't, what they don't want, you have to respect that. You have to respect their wishes. There are so many folks out there that are are, are deceptive in what it is they want to get from you. They, they tell you one thing because they think that's what you want to hear. 
So in this particular situation, I was grateful to my friend for being honest about what his intentions were toward me. And he didn't have the intentions toward me that I wanted him to have. And so I had to let that go. And sometimes in your life, when you interact with people, sometimes they're not meant to be in your path in a way that you want them to be in your path. It's unfortunate, but it's a reality. So I just want to let you know, sometimes, guys, it's not the end of the world. It just means that they were not for you. And sometimes that's hard to accept, but you have to accept it. Um, Guys, thank you so much for sticking with me. Thank you for listening to me. Thank you for just being here for me. Because like I said to you before in my previous videos, this is like therapy to me. To talk to you, to uh, expose some of myself, to expose the real me. <laughs> that is something serious for me. And, and, and it means so much for me to be able to talk to you guys. And I hope that you'll join me every week on Wednesday as we explore another topic. Again, if you have not subscribed, please do so. I would appreciate it so much. Have a great, great week, and I will see you again next week here on Wigless Wednesdays. Don't forget, be better today than you were yesterday. Be better tomorrow than you were today. Have a great, 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 wonderful Wigless Wednesday. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.